Hi there, today will be day 24 of You Got This, the 31 day devotional series that I'm conducting for the month of May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month. So day 24, we're on day 24. The title is Whispers in the Valley. Many of us go through such difficult seasons that fear and anxiety become our constant companions. They whisper the lie that God has abandoned you and all hope is lost. In that place of in between, you have to trust that God will use the valleys to shape your future. And for the record, it's a good one. The scripture for today is Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, will they comfort me? Question number one. Ask, or activity number one. Ask God to reveal any lies you've believed during the difficult season of life. Number two. List some promises from the Bible that speak truth to your reality. Number three. Take a moment and ask the Holy Spirit to begin showing you how he walks with you every day. We all have difficult times in life and I reside in Texas and I'm not sure if you've heard of the recent massacre that occurred in Texas at an elementary school. Um, and I hear people blaming the gun laws and things like that and I understand some of the gun laws I don't agree with either but honestly the root of the cause to me is mental health and I feel like a lot of people uh, a lot of very intelligent people are missing the root of the cause and just skipping over and blaming gun laws and things like that uh, but honestly the guy that did uh, committed the massacre at the elementary school was 18 years old. I haven't heard of any parents in his life. His grandmother was his uh, sole uh, caregiver from what I understand. I don't know the story. I'm not gonna pretend that I do. Um, however, honestly, it's it sounds like he had a lot of anger. It seems like he had a lot of anger in him. Um, some of the posts that are coming out from Facebook of his Facebook and things like that or whatever he was posting on um, shows him the cross-dressing. I'm not sure if he was being bullied. I'm not sure what was going on, but it just, to me, seems like a lot of disconnect uh, with no parents and he may have felt alone. I don't know. There's still not an excuse for him to commit such tragedy that he has committed and my heart and so aches for the families that are going through that. I, I'm sorry, doesn't even cut it. Uh, honestly, I, I have no words for for them at all, and it just saddens me that this still this is still occurring in society, and everyone's just bypassing the fact that mental health. Not everyone, but a lot of people are bypassing that mental health is the root of, of the cause. And if you actually deal with mental health since a child is young it, it may you know it, it may prevent things like this from happening either way please keep up with mental health um and thank you for watching i will talk to you next time goodbye